Hey guys, it is Ian or Crispy as some of you may know me as from Vine. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do the glass text that you see in most edits or some edits that looks a bit like this right here. So it looks pretty good. It doesn't really stand out too much in your edits, but it's still there and it looks really, really clean. So here's how you do it. You go to your After Effects. It doesn't really matter which one. You can have the oldest version of After Effects, but the one I use because it's the newest, I think. And you will want to make a new composition, or if you already have one, then just continue with that. And once you have your clip in there, I'm just going to take a random clip. Go Griffin Center. Just enter it. And then fit it to your comp. And it doesn't matter, you already have your edit. And you need to add your text now. So you're going to do the text like you normally would with the text there. Then add the text. I'm just going to make mine say crispy. Like it always does. I can't spell. And I always drag it down there. So I'm going to align it side down. So then what you're going to want to do is go to layer, new, adjustment layer. And then drag, this is very important, or else it won't work. You have to drag in your timeline, you have to drag the adjustment layer below Crispy. So the order goes Crispy, then adjustment layer, and then the rest of your clips. Um, and then with the adjustment layer, you want to select the track mat. And if you don't have the track mat, it's not showing up, it looks like this. And you're like, hey, where's the track mat? You want to click toggle switches slash modes, and it'll show up, and it'll show track mat. T R K M A T. And then with the adjustment layer, you're going to go track mat none, alpha mat crispy. So then crispy disappears, or whatever your text says disappears, um, and there won't be anything there. So you'll go to your effects and presets, and then type in trans transform. Then add transform to the adjustment layer, not crispy, add transform to the adjustment layer, and adjust your scale up a little bit, and then you'll see it appear. So I drag mine to about 120, usually, around 120. And there you go. And it if it doesn't really pop enough, like you, you, you want to see it a little bit, but you can't see it well enough, then you can just add glow. Any glow doesn't matter. If you have like a third party glow, like a sapphire glow effect or FL glow or whatever other glows there are, you can just add some glow and then it'll be a little bit brighter, but it'll still look like it's transparent and like it's glass. So you can adjust your glow any way you want. It looks a little bit too bright, but there. Yeah, see, it, it pops a little bit more. Okay, so that is it, guys, and I hope you enjoyed and this helped you out a little bit. So I want you to go check out my Vine, Crispy, all caps. I make some cool sports edits. I just edited this clip um, recently. So go check that out. It's already on my account. So I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.